Hello, hello, hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. This is your general reading, Sagittarius. This reading is for the 15th of January through the 31st. Let's see what good news we have coming your way. You know, on Sundays we have questions that's going to help you to land on the bright side of the moon phase that's coming. So we're closing out this last quarter moon in Libra. So this is last quarter moon. Last quarter moon means like I'm, I'm closing out some cycles. Some things don't feel good in my universe, even if it's something internally like fear, doubt, anger, and frustration about certain situations. I need to go ahead and close that out. I need to make peace with it, and I need to move on so I can go ahead and close out, you know, cycles. So here we have the Queen of Cups as a person who has an enormous amount of compassion for a situation. The devil card, the justice card, the judgment card. So if somebody has a court date, congratulations, you won. I'm seeing um, the justice card, the judgment card. So if you have a court date, I'm seeing that you won. No need to call a person a devil. You may have an angel on one shoulder and it feels like a devil on the other. Be very, very careful with the energy you send out into the universe calling a person a devil because actually it's a spirit, right? And so a spirit that is, it really is flesh, our flesh, our human flesh, um, is considered the devil. It also represents us feeling like we made poor decisions in the past and um, not being able to get over that obstacle, like heal from that. So if you've ever, um, like, like a person who has... <clears throat> Um, maybe felt like, you know, you made the, not the best decisions in your romantic relationships and feeling like I'm never going to find a new person. That would be kind of sort of like devil energy it, as it relates to this, right? I, I feel like I'm never going to find anybody to date. I never am going to X, Y, and Z. Somebody could have dated a Capricorn looking at the cards here. Again, Capricorn, the card is the devil card, but it's not because Capricorns are, are devils at all. It represents our flesh, like no more than Sagittarius is an angel, right? Because all of it, when we talk about the devil, if you, if you want to assign some, the devil is a fallen angel, right? But the devil is also a God to some people. And so we're talking about raising your frequency to the, the highest God, like your highest frequency saying, you know, I have compassion. Compassion for a situation is guess what? Your breakthrough. I have compassion for somebody. That's, that's where your breakthrough is going to come in. I have compassion, but I need to move on from something. I need to go ahead and close out a cycle and move on. So that's what I'm seeing for you. I need to go ahead and move on. I need to go ahead and move on from a cycle. I need to go ahead and move on, move on, move on. So that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. So congratulations for you to ascending higher. Here we have the death rebirth card, which lets me know there's something you have moved on from something. Um, somebody had an aha moment. Again, somebody um, here's a death card. Let's me know. Also, somebody has a guardian angel that's watching over them, helping them to raise their frequency to get more rooted and grounded when it comes to your own spirituality, your spiritual journey. A lot of people are going to realize that the devil represents our human flesh. It represents, you know, when people say, I, I got my demons. You know, when people say that, like, demons could be gossiping. It could be gluttony. It could be... It could be vanity. It could be, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever. It could be some form of mental illness where you're just constantly like, it, it could be a lot of things. It, this uh, When you look up demons, I talked about sex demons on my second channel, but that's what people are saying. Like people have their demons. They're trying to, they're trying to raise their frequency. And so here we have. Um, here we have the Page of Swords and we also have the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords and Seven of Swords. Some kind of anxiety that you may have been feeling about a situation, like I said before, um, some kind of secrets or whatever the case may be. Something was exposed and I, I see you moving on from it. I see you moving on from it and here we have the Tower card. So this means that somebody is now going to change course away from this. Like I said, it's like somebody has a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other, but I see you eventually breaking the chain of vibrating low, trying to hurt somebody, trying to expose or whatever, whatever somebody was trying to do. And I see you having an aha moment, an epiphany. Okay. You know, and so here we have, I see you expecting great things to come. So this really is, um, I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, episode with the Flintstones where they have like the angel on one shoulder and on the devil on the other. The devil is the tempter, right? That's tempting. I gotta, I gotta hurt somebody because they hurt me. I gotta, I gotta get back at them. It takes a lot of energy to do that. When that tower could fall one way or the other, right? Having a tower moment could fall one way or the other because it could backfire. I can tell you this: devil energy is 
will tempt a person to do something and feel like, okay, I just needed that immediate gratification for doing X, Y, and Z because I was so hurt, and it could actually backfire. So that can mean, let me give somebody an example. You hear a lot of, um, you hear a lot of um, people who are in uh, the public like spotlight, whether it's a political spotlight or a spiritual spotlight, pastor, priest, or whatever. They may say, you know what? Let my haters keep on hating because they're bringing more attention to my platform and therefore making them more money, right? Now, and we're not talking about just paper and coins money. You're bringing more souls to them. So it backfired in that sense. It's like the more energy you give to certain things, you, when you talk about people, you may be thinking, I'm talking about it because I feel frustrated or hurt or whatever. Now you got people's attention. But it's more attention on you because you're the person that's talking about it versus people seeing things for themselves. So the devil really never, people always have to, when you choose this energy right here, there's always a heavier, hefty price to, to mess with this energy right here. This energy right here never delivers on its promise. Like I said, it can feel like instant gratification. Let me expose some people. Let me hurt some people. A lot of people have told people about, you know, um, um, I, I heard this one reader talk about one time before how like people from, um, people from, uh, their church, and I won't say whether it was a man or woman reader, but the people from their church, um, uh, somebody from their church found out that they were reading cards online, right? And their numbers instantly went up because a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people come to readers, psychics, mediums. They may not tell people, but a lot of people tune in to readers, psychics, mediums, and people in the esoteric world to get answers because you can't get answers at some other places. They feel like there's a blockage somewhere. So you always have to be real careful about what people are saying about, you know, like even with your business. You could have, you could start a business, Sagittarius, and your haters could be over there like, oh, yeah, we're not supporting so-and-so's business. And they don't even realize that they're being used to promote your business. So now all of a sudden people are entering into your store. They want to find out like, oh, what, what is Sagittarius making? Now all of a sudden your, your business has tripled because your haters are running around talking about stuff. So you got to be real careful. So Source is trying to get somebody to raise their frequency to a level of compassion and let Source handle whatever Source needs to handle, you know, in a situation. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. We also have the Emperor card. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the, pay, the Five of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands, and also the Seven of Swords, right? Like I said, the Emperor card, again, Emperor card is attached to, where's the card right here? Okay. So there could be, there could be, there could be an Aries somewhere in the mix, or you could have Aries in your birth chart, or it could be Scorpio somewhere in the mix. But I see somebody breaking, eventually breaking some kind of a generational cycle or breaking some kind of a generational chain. So again, like really raising your frequency to a higher frequency. Here we have the Seven of Swords. This is where somebody is like, um, we got the Seven of Swords twice. Like somebody may, um, some, somebody is in a very classy way walking away from something. Just like, okay, something may have been exposed in you or it could have been exposed in other people. But I see somebody in a very classy way moving on. I see somebody feeling like a huge weight has been lifted from their lives. And also, if somebody desires to be in a romantic relationship, I do see a new and exuberant love coming across your path. We also have the Knight of Wands. This is Source saying to you, get as far away from any negative energy as possible. Get as far away from that as possible. We have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is you being your own knight in shining armor first and foremost. But if you desire to be in a romantic relationship, get prepared because somebody something new is coming your way. So Source wants you to be... Now, this card, these cards are, are beautiful. They're called the Glamorous Tarot deck, right? But the lipstick tubes are really, really um, swords. And so Source is saying even after an argument or some kind of... Um, some kind of friction with somebody in the past, Source was like, it's actually making you look hostile when you keep replaying the past over and over and over and over and over again, especially if you are calling yourself exposing somebody when Source is like, 
When source is trying to tell somebody, raise your frequency to a level of compassion about a situation. And if their energy disturbs you that much, then it's time for you to go ahead and make the adjustment and sever ties. You'll notice that some people never talk about their enemies at all because, again, or enemies or haters or people that some friction or whatever. Some people never talk about it because it's not they're not giving life to it. Every time you talk about it and think about it, you're giving air to it. And what do we need to breathe to survive? Air. As much as you're talking about it, you're giving life to it. And you got to really think the enemy is using somebody, will use you. That's anybody. That's, that's you, Sagittarius, or anybody. The more you talk about it, the more attention you're bringing to something that you may have thought, if I talk about it and I spread information about it, it's going to make, you know... Just think about when people have hated on you, Sagittarius, and then people get to know you. they like, you know what? I heard so-and-so, but you're not like that at all. You're not like that at all, right? So you don't want to be that person is what I'm trying to tell you. Because like I said, I see an angel here and a devil here. So you're on the other side of this. So now it's time for somebody to look back and say, I need, I've learned lessons. I've learned lessons about myself. I can move on now. I've learned lessons about myself. I can actually move on. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. A time to give rather than a time to take. This is where you want to give yourself some time to kind of sort of really be in receiving mode and really dissect all the messages that, that's coming to you. Virgo, we're not talking about any Virgos that you know. The zodiac sign Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde. And so you really want to take time to sit with yourself and dissect the messages that are coming through to you so that you can discern, you can really discern um, what you want to part ways with because that's part of your boundary too is like some things have been so egregious that i need to part ways with it but some things if i if i allow back into either way you there's an enormous amount of compassion here this right here queen of cups queen of compassion right but uh this is again where you are saying you know to yourself um if you even if a, if you if you don't know certain things about a person, I may not know everything. But because I don't know everything, the thing that something about the enemy's energy. When I say the enemy, I'm talking about the devil card. Something about the enemy's energy doesn't feel doesn't settle in your spirit. So the bottom line is when I look at this this reading right here, and I'm seeing somebody have a breakthrough. The breakthrough is going to come through compassion. I have compassion for a situation. I don't need to talk negatively about it. You know, God exposed everything God needed to expose within me about um, what I need to go ahead and part ways with. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to move on from it. And that's what I see for you. I see you moving on from something. So kudos and congratulations to you. But again, if somebody has a court date, you know, I see uh, justice in your favor. Even if you feel like, you know, this enemy was, this energy was narcissistic, gaslighting. If you, even if you felt that way, don't give life to it. Don't even breathe life to into that. Time to move on from it. Burning bowl. And that's it. Do a burning bowl ceremony. I release it in love. Whomever, whatever and whomever. I release not only people, places, and things, but the things could be, I, I release the frustration. I release the anger. I release the, the tears. I release all of it. And I release whatever, whomever or whatever. Some people will be releasing a job or some kind of organization that you're, you're moving on from. But I release it all in love. All of it. I release it. Let's see what your number is, Sagittarius. And so we can go ahead and close out your reading. Let's see what your number is so we can go ahead and close out your reading. Let's see what your number is so we can close out your reading. I am brilliant. Number seven. Here you go. You possess a very refined mind, Sagittarius, and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. That's right. A greater awareness than most. And let's pull one last card and go ahead and close this out. Let's pull one last card and close this reading out. One last card and let's close the reading out. It's an affirmation card that we pull at the end of every reading. So here's an affirmation card that we pull at every the end of every reading. Affirmation card, kindness. Affirmations for kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill towards those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. 
there it is. That's who you want to see. You want to see somebody, you want people to meet that Sagittarius in you, not somebody who has had so many sword wounds in your back that you're giving off. I'm bleeding all over everybody. Woe is me. So I'm hurting people the same way I was hurt. Right. So that's going to be part of the lesson that somebody learns. And like I said, if somebody's going to feel like, you know, leaving a courthouse, I feel like I, a huge weight has been lifted from all of that. But you got to remember, if somebody was going through an ordeal as far as court is concerned, please be careful of how the energy that you give out into the universe, because you can be ruining relationships out in the universe because somebody was going through some kind of painful thing themselves. That's why I always talk about therapy so much on my channel. Find a licensed therapist while you're going through things so that you're not out here blowtorching people and not even aware of that and then wondering why when you come up out of, you know, when you heal from that, why people are looking at you like, I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.